Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at a couple things. One is the uh, one of the new features that's really fun is being able to copy objects from one file to another instead of using Shift F1, where you can link or or copy an object. But so let's just do that first, and I'll just grab this gear that I have in here. That this one has the uh, animation associated with keyframe. That keyframe this one from the previous lesson if you've seen that. So I'm just going to press Control C like I would normally copy things. Menu comes up. I left click it, and then I go go back and get a different file. Here I'll get rid of this object here, and then I'm just going to press Control V, and I'll paste it from the buffer. Left click there, and so there it is in in this file right here. So it's very convenient, and I really like the feature like this. All right, so this lesson's mostly about if you want to try and do gears without using the rigid body dynamics. The rigid body dynamics are really fun, but they are quite processor intensive. I've found, and you can also you can always do gears anyway. Other people have done that, but one of the easiest ways to do it is since this already has the animation, it should have it still with it. Let's see. Yeah, I still have the keyframes. It copied over the keyframes with it. So if I press Alt A you can see it running like this okay so this is you know this is the this is the easy way it's certainly not a you know a real mechanical device or a virtual mechanical device I should say alright so I'm gonna just copy this and shift D Y and I'll move that over I'm just gonna get relatively close let's see where I am okay and then I'll move it up as well like this so it's kinda like the other one right there alright so now I have them both in the scene like that alright go back to perspective mode and so if I run alt a wait a second oh yeah well that's they're both running because they're um the one has it copied over the keyframes. This, so I'm going to make I'm going to press U, and I'm going to make it its own object essentially, and then I'm going to come down here. You, I'm going to get rid of the keyframes associated with this. So I'm going to press the down arrow key, and remove that one. Up arrow key, and remove that one. So that doesn't have any keyframes on it. And then I press Alt A, and only that one's running like that. In fact, I I didn't want this one to rotate in the same direction anyway. So but now this is labeled gear second dot zero zero one and that's gear second zero so I'm gonna grab uh, this guy and I'm gonna go over to the modifiers or the constraints I should say and right up in here the little chain link looking thing object constraints I'll add the constraint and I'll just copy the rotation and this rotation on this is occurring on the y-axis so basically that was dot zero zero one so I'll go grab that object dot zero zero one and I want to copy the Y information right there so I'll get rid of X and Z and the other thing I want to do I want to invert it meaning I want it to rotate it in the opposite direction that this one's rotating okay so then when I press alt A there we go we have a nice smooth gear effect of course this is not a rigid body dynamic base one so you can't really make a machine but if you're just trying to create a nice cool animation this works just fine and like I said just like I've mentioned in the previous lesson the difficulty becomes when you want to try and mix and match gears to get the proper rotation rate that's not simple at all that's a lot of mathematics that's you, you can be an engineer and be a, you can be a gear engineer essentially that's a, it's a complicated field but if you do a basic stuff and you know uh, then you can already do some cool stuff like that and uh, and I right, just wanted to point that out in case you don't have a super fast computer I don't have a super fast computer either but those rigid body dynamics for doing gearing definitely takes a lot of processing power alright alright I'll see you in the next lesson